Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving an interesting integral together. Why interesting? It looks pretty simple but looks can be deceiving, right? So let's get started. We're going to start off with substitution, okay? Uh, I'm going to be substituting, let's substitute the square root of tan x and I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, you can we can actually call it any alphabet we want. Let's go ahead and call it M. M for math, right? <laughs> okay, so M square equals tan x, okay? By squaring both sides. And now, by differentiating both sides, you get 2M dm equals 6 square x dx, okay? And therefore, dx equals 2m dm over 6 square x. Okay, now that we have our values for dx and square root of tan x, we can go ahead and substitute them into our main equation here. So this equals to the integral of root tan x is m. And dx is 2m over 6 square x dm. Okay? Okay, perfect. Except there's one little problem here. We have x here in the denominator. But we need to integrate this with respect to m. So for this, we need to find a way to bring m into the denominator. So I'm going to draw... A right angle triangle and go ahead and call this angle x now we know that tan x equals m square so therefore tan x since tan x is opposite over adjacent this is m square and this is 1 right and using the hypotenuse uh, Pythagorean theorem we can find the hypotenuse which is m raised to 4 plus square root of m raised to 4 plus 1 Using this triangle, let's find sec square x. So sec x equals the square root of m raised to 4 plus 1 over 1. Okay, therefore sec square x equals m raised to 4 plus 1. Okay, and now we have a value for sec square x which we can use and which also has an m in it, which is perfect, right? Which is what we wanted. So let's go ahead and put in that value. So this equals to the integral of 2m square, right? Over m raised to 4 plus 1 dm. Okay, next step. For the next step, I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by m square. So we get the integral of m uh, 2 over m square plus 1 over m square, correct? dm. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split the numerator up a little bit. So let's do this. 1 plus 1 over m square plus 1 minus 1 over m square. All of this over m square plus 1 over m square. Okay, dm. So basically what I've done here is, well, we have 1 and we have 1, which is equal to 2. And we have, we, I've added plus 1 over m square minus 1 over m square, which is 0. So the numerator is still equal to 2, just in a different form. So this is perfect. This is still equal to this one here. So we should be good. Now let's focus on the denominator a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find values with which I can substitute, which I can substitute the denominator with, right? So let's try m plus 1 over m and square that. That looks pretty promising. So we get m square plus 2 plus 1 over m square upon expanding that. So this is almost equal to our denominator here except for this extra positive 2. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides, and then we have this equation 
this value is equal to the denominator. So we can use this to substitute our denominator. Denominator. Okay, so let's call this 1. Let's try another value. Let's try m minus 1 over m and then square that. Okay, we get m square minus 2 times m times 1 over m, which is just 2, plus 1 over m square. Now, this is also almost equal to the denominator, except for this uh, extra negative 2 here. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And now we have this value also precisely equal to our denominator here. So we can also use this to replace our denominator. Let's call this 2. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this up. So this would be one integral and this would be one, uh, one integral. And okay, let's, let's just do this. This equals the integral of 1 plus 1 over m square. Okay, so that's over. I'm going to use equation 2 for this one. m minus 1 over m square. They, you square the whole thing plus 2, okay, dm plus integral of, and then we have 1 minus 1 over m squared, this value here, 1 minus 1 over m squared, over, and I'm going to use the first equation now, this one, so m plus 1 over m, and I'm going to square that, minus 2 dm. Okay? Perfect. So now, um, now we have our integral. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to substitute all over again. So let's call, let's say, let's call m minus 1 over m, and let's call it p. Okay? And m plus 1 over m, let's call this q, okay? Now, if you differentiate both sides, you get dp equals uh, m becomes 1, and negative 1 over m becomes positive 1 over m square, if you differentiate. And on this side, you get dq equals m becomes 1 and positive 1 over m becomes negative 1 over m square dm right since you are differentiating both sides and here if you notice here we have well 1 plus 1 over m square but here in the numerator so this is dp and 1 minus 1 over m square which is dq we have it in the numerator so this is dq, and this is p, and this is q. So we actually can put in the values that we just that we just wrote into our integral, which is perfect, right? Makes it easier for us to solve the integrals. So let's do that. So equals to integral of dp over p square. Like if you see here, this is p, right? This is p. And then we have this square here, so p squared plus 2. Okay? I'm going to write this as root 2 square, okay? But this doesn't really change the value of, of the integral, but it makes it easier for me to solve. And over here, the second integral, we have dq over q squared minus... I'm going to do the same thing here, root 2 squared, okay? So we just put in the values, we have this dq, 1 minus 1 over m squared, which matches the numerator. We're just putting in the values, basically. Now, we have brought our integral into a form which is far easier to integrate using the formula. So the formula is the integral of dx over x squared plus a square, where x is a variable and a is a constant, is 1 over a times tan inverse of x over a, okay, plus c, of course, and I'm going to call this 1, 
And another another formula for this is zx over x squared minus a squared, notice the negative sign here, equals 1 over 2a times the log modulus of x minus a over x plus a plus c. And I'm going to call this 2. Okay, if you notice this, the first integral is quite similar to the uh, to the first formula, right? So, um, and then the second one is quite similar to the second formula. So we're gonna substitute the values in each of these formulas and note that p here is x and root two is a, q here is x and root two is a, okay? So this becomes equals, now we're just writing the solution, right? So we're going to first solve for the first equation, the first uh, integral, which is 1 over a, which is 1 over root 2, since a is root 2, as we saw here, times the tan inverse, x over a, which is p over a, which is p over root 2, plus, we have this plus sign here, which joins both the integrals, 1 over 2 root 2, now we focus on this one, here root 2 is, uh, a is root 2, times the log of x minus a, which is q minus root 2, over q plus root 2, plus c. Okay, and now if we go back and just review the values we had put in for p and q. So p is m minus 1 over m, and who is m plus 1 over m okay so 1 over root 2 tan inverse m minus 1 over m over root 2 plus 1 over 2 root 2 times the log of m plus 1 over m since that's the value of q right minus root 2 over m plus 1 over m plus root 2 plus c what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simplify this a bit. 1 over root 2 tan inverse of... I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by m. So you get m squared minus 1 over root 2 m, right? Plus 1 over 2 root 2 log modulus of... And now multiplying this also by m, the numerator and denominator, m times m is m square plus for m times m is 1 minus root 2 times over m squared plus 1 plus root 2 m plus c and now all we have to do is go back and see what we had so that we had put m equals to root of tan x and we're going to substitute that back into this equation. So this equals 1 over root 2 times tan inverse of m square is tan x minus 1 over root 2 times root tan x which is root 2 tan x plus 1 over 2 root 2 log of m square which is root root tan x squared which is tan x plus 1 minus root 2 times root tan x which is root 2 tan x over m square which is tan x plus 1 plus root 2 times m, which is root 2 tan x, plus c. And that is how you solve this integral right here. Quite a long answer, right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya.